thank the council for taking the time to finish this task tonight. I appreciate the support of this council to have me carry on with this job and lead the office through the next phase of development, through the succession planning of the office, the retention of the historical knowledge, the integration of this knowledge, and the application of this knowledge to new issues and by new people. Uh, and those issues will come. This city is more than a $300 million municipal corporation. Uh, the city is more than 28 square miles. Uh, the city is even more than the 114,000 people that live here. It's actually more than that. But um, The city of Ann Arbor is an ideal, really, of how those people should live together in this area now and long into the future. The city is, at the same time, a practical municipal structure that provides a framework for this ideal. Governance of this city is not easy. Uh, this fusing of the ideal and the practical. But what people forget very quickly is that the city cannot exist very well at all, not now, not in the coming year, nor into the future, without, without the actual daily work and constant attention of the service areas of this city, the police, fire, public works, community services, and finance, and their related employees and other departments. This is self-evident to me every day as I work with these employees. I am proud and humbled to lead an office that in turn serves and advises these service areas of the city and also advises those who administer and govern the city. I want to thank all of my colleagues in the city attorney's office who have contributed to the successes of the office over the past year, who provide me daily support and advice and excellent work. Again, mayor and council, thank you for your support. I look forward to continue to assist you in taking care of this city during a time of